Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sorful here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to play MapleStory and other PC games with a Xbox 360 controller. Now, you can do this with a wired or wireless controller, but I highly recommend you do it with a wired controller as it's cheaper and it's just easier. Um, a wired 360 controller is what I use to play a lot of PC games, and I also use it to play MapleStory sometimes as I did uh, during stream, my live stream one time. It's especially good if you're going to have really long grinding hours uh, during two times EXP events um, because it's much more comfortable in the hand and you don't have to keep clicking um, or holding buttons down. It's just much more easier and comfortable in the hand uh, to hold that controller and it just feels better. So what you're going to want to do is come to this website, this web page right here. The link to this will be in the description so just go ahead and click that. It'll bring you right here. And what you're going to want to do from here is just, you could click it if you want to, set up wire controller, or you could just scroll right down. It'll be right here under the whole setup, blah, blah, blah. And then you're going to want to follow these steps. So you're going to want to go down to here, though, if you do not have an installation disk for your Xbox 360 controller. Uh, so you're going to want to click here, software download section of the Microsoft hardware website. So once you're here, there's a few ways where you can navigate. You could go to gaming which is the fastest way, then you're going to see Xbox 360 controller for Windows. So you're going to want to go ahead and click that, and then it'll show you here, you know, click whichever one you are on. I'm Windows 7 64-bit. These are the versions it does work with. Uh, I probably should have mentioned that in the beginning, but I actually didn't know which exactly ones. Um, so it's Windows Vista, XP, and Windows 7. So Windows 8 does not have a, a functioning feature. Maybe for the Xbox One controller it does. So if you have an Xbox One controller, you can still try this as well. Um, and then you're going to want to go ahead and click download. So once it's done downloading, you should have this icon both on your desktop as well as wherever you chose to save it. It's going to be called Microsoft Xbox 360 Accessory Status. A uh, bit of a, long, a lengthy name. Um, so you're going to want to click run for it. And then it's going to be this. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, plug in my Xbox 360 controller right now. Sorry for all the noise, but I'm going to go ahead and plug in mine now to show you guys what happens when you do. So I plugged it in, and my computer made the noise, uh, confirming that it detected something. And as you can see right there, it shows the little one sign to show that one player is uh, logged in, so to say, for the Xbox style. So now, let's hop into Maple Story, shall we? And uh, I'll tell you guys which buttons are which. All right, guys. So once you're actually on Maple Story, where you can access your your joypad or controller settings is right here, joypad settings. So you're gonna want to click the system menu, and then you can see it right here, just over my overlay. Click that, and you can see all the um, buttons you could uh, configure. So. For example, I have my potion button to use a potion on delete. So if I put this on say button 6, if I press button 6 on my controller, then I will use my potion, whatever is on the delete key. So you could use macros. If you want to play solely using a controller, uh, you could set up macros to buff um, because macros could hold up to 3 skills So, and you have uh, up to 10 buttons to configure. So you really have more than enough especially when you uh, factor in um, macros, right? So set up your macros, set, set them to buttons, and I know this is a little bit tricky, but I'm gonna go ahead and explain what each button is. First off though, let me go ahead and show you guys that I actually am playing with the controller. So I'm gonna put on my webcam here. All right, hey guys, what's up? All right, so you guys can see my controller right here, all right? And I'm gonna move in MapleStory with my controller so you guys can see that right I'm moving with my controller now the good thing about this is where's the B button I think it's here the good thing about this is um, you could still use your keyboard and mouse uh, as you please whoops whoa playing backwards is pretty difficult but I'm a beast so flash jump still works everything works as you would expect it to um, could you guys see my controller properly on the screen yeah you guys could so yeah, I am moving with my controller, but you could also use your keyboard still, which I'm using right now. So that's the that's the great part. Let me go ahead and take off my webcam now. 
All right, so back to the settings, joypad settings. So as you can see, there's 10 buttons that you can configure, and I'm gonna go ahead and go over each button, what they do, uh, or what button it is on your controller. Um, and it'll also be on the screen, so you guys could just copy it down, write it down, or memorize it. So button one is the A button. Button two is B. Button three is X. Button four is Y. Button five is the left bumper, or LB. Button six is the right bumper, or RB. Button seven is the back button, other known as other, also known as the select button. Button eight is the start button. Button nine is L3, or the left stick. And button 10 is R3, or the right stick. So pressing down on the right and left stick are button nines and 10. So pretty simple stuff. Um, really easy to get used to. Again, it feels so comfortable. It's actually very fluid, the movement with the controller. They're, they're, it might feel like there's a little bit of a delay, but honestly, I really don't think there is. I think it's just a matter of um, getting used to it which again is not hard at all to do. So hopefully this video uh, was informative for you guys. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. I had a person uh, leave a comment. I'm using my controller right now. I had a person leave a comment um, saying, look at that, I can up jump easily. It's, it's just exactly how you'd expect it to be. Um, <clears throat> so a person wanted to know how, how to play with a controller. And a couple people wanted to know as well when I used it during my live stream. So again, I just have, um, I had my pet auto buffing me with just this buff and I'd be training. Uh, just, just doing this back and forth. I'll just do this. Um, so yeah, really simple stuff. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys found this video helpful. And hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, I think I did a pretty good job explaining it. If you guys are, un if anything is unclear, please leave a comment below and I will definitely address it. Thank you all for watching this Sorful production. If you enjoyed the video, then why not show it? Hit that like button and subscribe for more Sorful goodness. Peace.